Hello everybody, um, this is my first video tutorial and I'm going to be teaching you how to create an effect like this where it looks like a pattern is wrapping around an object. Um, now what you need to do this is Photoshop so uh, and two images which I have right here. Um, so what you so um, basically you use something called the displacement map and what the map does is that it gives guidelines to the pattern of where to bend itself and twist itself to look like it's wrapping around the object. Um, as you can see here, um, it's wrapped, looks like it anyway, but uh, yeah, it looks like it's painted on and stuff, so it's a pretty cool effect. So let's get started. Let's close that. Um, so here's my two objects. I'm going to open up the skull. As you can see, it's a picture, so we're going to save it as a Photoshop document. Okay, and now we're going to edit this and turn it into a dis displacement map. Um, we're going to do that. Okay, so as you can see, there's a lock right here, so you need to take it out of background mode. The lock means that it's not editable, so get it out of background mode. And I'm going to get the magic wand over here select the background and delete it deselect by hitting command D for Apple users and control D for PC users I think <laughs> uh, anyway so we are going to desaturate it which means turn it to black and white because like I said earlier um, the pattern is going to be reading the darks and the shadows so to take care of that adjustment we're going to go to adjustments and then down to desaturate as you can see black and white now what we're going to do is we're going to adjust the contrast by um, turning it up basically we're going to um, go up to image adjustments brightness and contrast the contrast is going to go all the way up and I like to make it really contrasty because um, it's a little more definition for the pattern. Um, you don't have to do it, but you know it comes out a little better if you do. So now go all the way up, but a little bit. Okay, now that we got it nice and contrasty, we're gonna go up to filter. We're gonna give it a little blur, Gaussian blur. So click that. Um, I usually do it around two or three. You know, make it nice and blurry. This is going to be our displacement map. So we are going to save it as map in the same folder if you like. So okay, it is now there. Um, now we are going to open up the pattern. I like to have two windows. CS4, you can have tabs, but in this case, so. Um, now, you want to put the map into the pattern. Um, so we're going to tell it to come into the pattern and, you know, give it the shadows. Um, so we're going to go to Filter, Distort, Displace. And I usually just leave these two at 10. Um, make sure wrap around is checked and stretch to fit. So hit OK. And then it's going to ask you where the map is. So say choose a displacement map. And that's in our folder. So we're going to choose the map. And right away it's going to, um, it just created all the contours from reading this map. Um, so I'm going to close out of that. We don't need it anymore. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the skull PSD that we saved previously and I am going to go back to the pattern and select all by hitting command A and I'm going to hit command C to copy it. Okay, now I'm going to go back over to the skull and paste it there. Um, oh, it looks like the skull for some reason relocked itself. 
So we got to take that. We don't need the old pattern anymore because we have it with our skull. Um, looks like we got to re-unlock that because we need the background, the same shape. So right now the pattern's there, but we want to get rid of this background here. So what we're going to do is go back to the skull right here, close that out. Um, and we're going to select the background. We're going to delete it. And since we want to delete the background of the map, not the map, the pattern, we're going to do that. And then we're going to turn it back on. Now we're going to select the pattern and hit delete. You got to make sure you have this selected. Deselect. So now we're going to, we have it still selected here. I'm going to go to opacity, lower the opacity of the skull. As you can see, it's getting nice and pretty there. Very pretty. Um, so I don't know, I guess you can choose how dark or light you want it to be. So we'll do around 65. Because that's how I like it. That's how it looks good to me anyway. So, I mean, we don't have a background anymore since we got rid of the skull one, take the paint bucket and the black and drop it. Okay, that's covering both of them up. So I'm going to drag the layer under both of them. And there you have it. A nice skull with a tattooed pretty blue purpley limey thing. So save that. And there you go. Thank you for watching. And see you soon.